Many people balk at the idea of developing a daily habit or a daily discipline of practice. However, if one is going to strive for perfection, one must live that thing they want to be perfect in. Granted that there are always circumstances that force exceptions. Life can't be helped and other concerns or personal circumstances and health can present obstacles and you may have to make whatever adjustments are needed, but you keep to the commitment however you can, whatever your limitations allow. I have, with very few breaks, kept to such a regiment of daily practice for some years now. I can honestly say that it has helped me to see consistent growth. That growth may not be immediate, and that's when you have to trust that the discipline of a daily regimen will eventually bear fruit. Too often I've heard the complaint that someone had decided to do 100 drawings, expecting to see tremendous change, but were dissatisfied with their progress. There's a reason for that. One can't do things without purpose, without direction, and expect to arrive at a place they have not planned for. Think of it in terms of coming up with your own curriculum as if you were conducting your own class. You are both the student and the teacher. Knowing your own weakness means looking at your own work with a critical eye. Know your strengths and weaknesses. Know where you have to develop and come up with a curriculum that will solve these weaknesses. When I first started drawing from the model, I really had a hard time lining up the facial features. They were always slanted and I had a tendency to tilt my own head when I was drawing. I had excellent teachers who taught me to develop the masses of darks and light as a way of developing the image. What I was taught was good and useful, but I needed something more. I needed to look for and understand the structure of the forms beneath. So I started learning about structural drawing and my sketchbooks became filled with drawings that were concerned about structure. I also discovered that I had to continue to try to outdo my previous drawings to continue to strive to do it even better. When you look at your work with a critical eye, you would be able to identify the things that you feel like you need to improve. Critique can also be positive because you will also be able to identify the improvements. There can also be things that you want to introduce, new ideas or things that you haven't tried yet. Plan it out. Take charge of the direction you want your art to take. You need a place to go to, a regular meeting place for you and your sketchbook, or whatever medium you choose to work in. Whether it's a room, a desk, or a table, or maybe you work outdoors. Whatever it is, Form a positive and consistent habit. Avoid procrastination by gathering your materials ahead of time. If you work on a table or desk, then set up all your materials so that you are ready to use them when you are ready to start. I carry all of my pencils in a small plastic box, which includes erasers and stumps, everything I need to draw with. If I'm going to draw in my sketchbook, then I will have that ready on the table waiting for me. If I'm going to paint on a sheet of paper, then I will have that taped to a board and have my palette and cup of water or whatever I need to clean my brushes laid out and ready to start instead of waiting for me to be in the right frame of mind to start working before I gather my materials. I set out those materials ahead of time so that I can just dive right in when I'm ready. Progress can seem to have its ups and downs. You may wonder why you have to fight so hard 
for a particular drawing when you thought you had learned your lesson a while ago. You may wonder what happened to the improvements you thought you made. You will find that as you continue new challenges and directions present themselves or that errors become more glaring. That's because you have developed a more critical eye and you are more sensitive to the parts of your drawing that are not as good as they should be. You may even feel that the drawing that you were satisfied with only a week ago now does not look as good as you remembered. That's not a bad thing. It shows growth and eventually you'll arrive at drawings that will surprise you, though you still may be critical of them. You will see progress the more you stick to the discipline of daily practice. I like working consistently in one sketchbook because when I get closer to the last page, occasionally I would flip through the pages and see the progress that I've made. Being an artist is hard, but it's not a drudgery. I remember watching the film Fame when I was a teenager. It was about the High School of Performing Arts in New York City. They taught several disciplines, music, dance, and acting. Later, they also merged with the High School of Music and Art, and now they include the visual arts. In each of the disciplines, the instructor said the exact same thing. This is the hardest thing you will ever do. From that, I realized it's not so much what discipline you choose, but it's the idea of discipline that is hard. There are very definite benefits and rewards that come with the discipline, but one must give themselves wholly to it. Don't lose sight of what you want to accomplish. Although we can enjoy the act of drawing, there's a reason why you started drawing or why you picked up the discipline to begin with. For me, it was that I liked art. I liked looking at art in printed pages and in museums. I liked being around people who like to make art. I liked to see their accomplishments. All of this made me want to do the same thing. It pushed me to create, to make pictures of my own, influenced and inspired, by what I saw. Reconnect with the reason why you began this road in the first place and refresh that joy each time you begin a drawing. I can tell you that without a doubt, having a daily regimen of drawing or painting or practice in your cho chosen discipline will produce growth as long as one does not do so aimlessly and without purpose. Having a goal and a direction to achieve that goal will certainly accomplish the improvements you long to see in your own work. So in regards to having a daily practice of drawing, I just want to repeat what I said in the beginning. And that is that life happens and that things come up and you can't help it. Okay, it, it just does. It could be some kind of medical emergency. It might not even be something so unpleasant. It could be that family members come over or, you know, something unexpected. But, you know, it's, it's life, right? Life happens. So, you know, if it prevents you or uh, prevents a, a either a pleasant distraction or whatever else from doing your work, then don't beat yourself over the head you know on it just uh just you know as soon as you can get right back on it and continue to practice i mean i've dealt with a terrible week where i've had to deal with some emergencies that come up you know and um i just dealt with it and i managed to do some sketching but it's not something that's going to advance my drawing ability or or anything like that or it, it just in terms of artistically all it did was keep my hand warm so that when I can when I'm able to get back into something that I would enjoy doing that um, that I wouldn't come call I wouldn't be cold right it would be 
because it's hard to climb up out of it and it's hard to you know you, you kind of like have to gear yourself back into it again so the thing is that you know what just uh, if you can manage to keep your hand moving then do that until you're ready to you know fully immerse yourself in your art but if you can't then again don't beat yourself up on the head just as soon as you can go for it and 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 continue and and uh, um, continue to grow it's your practice it's your life as an artist um, no one can beat you over the head for what you try to do uh, or, you know or what you can or can't do right so um, do your best all right so until next video I'll see you guys bye bye